Welcome back to Roy Family Farms. I'm Chris. And if you've been following this channel, you know it's been a while, but there's a good reason for that. We've had a lot going on. I'm about to share a little bit of that with you. Alright, here we go. Here's a big part of what we have going on. We got some pigs. They're going to be getting a friend here soon. Uh, we got two female American guinea hogs. Uh, we went with the guinea hogs because they're really good to be raised on pasture. And, uh, and they're a little bit smaller pig. Easier to handle. Really good demeanor. They don't get super aggressive or anything like that. Uh, especially the boars. So we went with them since we've never done pigs before. Just kind of dipping our toes in there. And they're a good, good, uh, homestead pig they don't get super small super big they stay a little bit small i think when they're like fully grown i think the biggest is like 200 pounds or something like that some they might get a little bit bigger i'm not 100 percent on that like i said this is new to us but getting the these guys well girls is taking up a lot of time i uh i built this pig tractor which we will uh, probably go over that a little more in depth um, on another episode. But yeah, I built this pig tractor. It's a 10 by 10. Seems to be doing pretty good. I, I got to modify some wheels. I just used some wheels I had on it. <clears throat> I had on the property that I to move it at for now. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad little shelter. They seem to enjoy it. Keeps them dry. Keep them shaded. But that is just one of the reasons we have not made an episode in a while. Um, we ha also have another addition to the farm. Let me try to get over this fence here. Not get shocked. But there's another thing. We started off with them in actually in the uh, chicken tractor, which is right behind there. There's a couple. Uh, Easter Eggers and Americanas in there. Uh, those are Sam's birds. But we had them in that, and we had some hog panels. Sorry, it's been raining the past few days, and these gnats are just terrible. But, uh, yeah, we had them in that. They had a 16 by 16 run. And then, uh, then they got upgraded to that chicken tractor, but still only had the hog panels. So it was 16 by 16, but a 10 by 10 pig tractor but the other day before I went to work we got that uh, we got some premier one uh, pig quick fence and it's it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it so far it goes up easy um I there's a setting it up I could have probably did it a little bit more efficient and better but uh you, you kind of live and you learn and the area I was putting them in because the contour of the land uh, I I couldn't get it in like a perfect rectangle or square but yeah we got the uh, birds in here they're in the back corner can't really see them you probably can hear them though but yeah the pigs that pig tractor was a lot more of a project than uh, I thought it was going to be but I probably went a little bit overboard but I'm honestly probably going to use that for uh, for like a fairwing shelter too so I want it to be a little more secure for piglets but yeah we got that um, I don't know if we were doing this before but where are they at if you see I can't tell the camera but We've got these, the chickens are free ranging now, during the day when we're, uh, when we're home. But they seem to be pretty happy with that, and they, uh, they seem to enjoy hanging out with our new addition. But we'll wait for uh, Sam to be available to introduce that to you. All right, I found her. So we're gonna introduce you to the other addition of the farm. Yes, this one's very furry. Extremely furry. 
<laughs> hey, Winnie. Currently getting some shade. Come on, Winnie Win. Oh, oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Winnie, you're so tangled. This is Winnie. Oh, don't have the camera pointed that way. She yep, this is, is the newest our, addition. Our livestock guardian dog in training. Don't worry, we have her off the lead plenty of times. This is just for her to get to know our free range chickens because that's going to be part yeah, of the job. There's a bunch of ants right Ooh. there. We're going to have to take care Inside. of that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she's an Anatolian Shepherd. She's about 10 weeks old. Um, like I said, we take her off several times during the day. Our free range chicken, so is going to be part of her job mainly to protect. So she's becoming one with the chickens. And um, so far, she's doing really good. Um, it's really funny because our chickens have, you know, all of our property really to like. run around, but they all gather around her. They sleep with her. They yeah, they're, water. they're buddies. <laughs> See, we have this broken down riding mower that Winnie likes to uh, sleep under, and the chickens will be on top of it, staring down at her. And and we definitely need to take care of those ants. They're yeah. everywhere. I think they're going this after is, the chicken poop. This is life in the South, guys. Um, like I said, we are in Alabama, and the ants are just crazy. Huh, Wim Ben? All right, you want to go for a walk, Winnie? Let's go Come for on. a walk. Let's follow us, Mutt. Yeah. She's not a Mutt. But she's oh, a good friend. dog. She's actually really smart. She's super smart. So Anatolians, when they don't do something that you tell them to do, it's not because yeah, they don't understand. The it's because they simply just choose not to. And she has proven that to us several times. Yeah, she can be very stubborn when she wants to. So, but that's all good makings of a good livestock guardian uh. and we have another addition which we have not talked about and we have yellow jackets trying to make a nest up there okay. and i have to take care of that it's summertime. come on winnie Wait, Wait, come on. Go easily go do not Wait, mind the mess in this shop Wait. i have not been able to clean anything up been so busy all right well the puppy's not coming yet. Oh, she's here. All right. The other addition, as you can tell, that's some brooders here. We got a ton of birds. We ordered a total of 30. We've had, I think, two losses so far. Um, we we got some other ones in this brooder. Yeah, there's one of the, uh, we ordered Bard Rocks, uh, Rhode Island Reds, and some White Brahma Roosters. So, that's what we got going on here. I got to build a, another chicken tractor, so another building project. Taking up all my time, but haven't started on that yet. But yeah, we need to get them out in a tractor soon. It's nice and warm here in the south, so they could probably come out of the brooder and we probably don't really need the heat lamps on anymore in here. It's pretty toasty. They're getting a little bit older, so. But yeah, that's that's the other addition. The three additions. Come on, Winnie. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Girlfriend, let's go. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. So that is what we have been up to. Um, I will do a future episode on that pig tractor, talking about that. I actually like how that turned out. And we definitely have a lot more going on, so lots of content to put out. So if you like watching and following our adventure here, just Subscribe, like, subscribe, uh, share if you like, I guess. But, but yeah, we added a whole bunch of animals. <laughs> um, you know, it's spring.
spring summertime down here. Everyone's having new animals. It's the perfect time for people who are just starting out to get their animals that they want to grow and everything. The weather's really nice. Also, Winnie, being a livestock guarding dog, she is to stay outside. Um, she does have a cage on our porch, so she is protected from predators and stuff. But, um, so she's going to be, she'll take two years to fully train. We're not going to remotely um, have her on night duty until then. Um, Anatolans and other livestock guardian dogs, they tend to like to wander, mainly because when they see a predator, they don't just go after it and stop at their property. They want to go after it to kill Crazy it. Crazy dog. So... They, you have to have fencing and stuff, so we have to do some adjusting to our fencing. But we have two years to train her, and then she'll be on pretty much we during the night. We have to do adjusting the fencing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to do adjusting the fencing. And, um, hi, Renty. Um, actually, the funniest thing is that, um, you know, we're going to be training she and working she's a dog. with Winnie. But actually, like I said, like you've seen our cats around in our videos, they're livestock guardian cats, so they're probably going to be doing some training as well with Winnie. It's, I know, they're, they're really not, but they, they do a, watch the animals. It's kind of weird. But. I know it's a weird concept to have a cat train All a right, dog. Alright, let's stand but, up. My knees hurt. <laughs> but that's probably what's going to happen because these cats are seriously livestock guardian cats. And then, of course, we'll also be working with her closely. So Winnie's going to take time, but just like anything on our farm that's going to be a big success. Um, it's going to take time, so we got to put in the time and the effort, but that's what we got. Yeah, I saw Lou wrapping the on. video a second ago, but she had a big old spiel. So if you like what you've seen, watch, continue watching, like, subscribe, share, and uh, continue following us on uh, Roy Family Farms. Thank you for watching.